Hi there, it's Susan from SusanWinter.net. Thank you for joining me. You know, I've had an interesting week because I've had a couple of clients that have all had the same issue. And this is a construct that may be very confusing to you if you're dating somebody right now and you feel like you're getting, you, you know they're attracted to you and there's a vibe and, and it's going beautifully, but every time you get to the point of trying to do forward movement, they throw a roadblock in your way, okay? Now, most of us would think, oh, well, that means they're not interested, of course. And you might even ask them, so what are you looking for? And they may deflect and say, well, no, no, I'm not really looking for anything. You know, whatever, whatever. I just go with the flow. I don't think about it much. These types of clients, recently, I've been talking to, and they are just the opposite of what they're telling you. So, if you've been feeling like you're losing your mind, you're wondering if you are delusional, you're thinking, how come I'm attracted to somebody and I feel like there's something going on and yet there's nothing happening here, I get to a certain point and they kind of push me back. You might be thinking there's something wrong with you. You might be thinking your whole perspective is off. And maybe when you tell people about this, they say, hey, you know, they're obviously not interested. Here is the very weird situation. It confuses me too because I, I mean it's so simple to work around this, but here is the reason that somebody would do that. They are so terrified of their own feelings that in their state of being overwhelmed, all they know is to put a roadblock in your way. I have dealt with people where I have tried repeatedly to tell them just give the green light. If you like this person so much, quit paying me and give them the green light and get this thing going. Because it's, it's this self-defense that we have is absolutely amazing to me. That people would rather pretend that they don't like you and silently suffer and even pay money to a coach to help them when all they had to do was say, I like you, I love spending time with you, you know, I look forward to seeing you. Any kind of positive reinforcement that would make you think, oh, okay, this is a green light. I can continue. But when you don't hear that, of course, you're going to be confused because everything your radar inside is reading is saying, but they're attracted to me and we get along really well. And I like being with them and they like being with me. But every time I try to take it to the next level, I get kicked sideways. I cannot work with them unless they call me, okay? But I can tell you that oftentimes when you feel this and you feel it very strongly inside yourself, in your gut, you're not incorrect. The only message that I could give you, because again this is an action they have to be courageous enough to take, is that if you think of them like a scared animal, if you are constant and reassuring and calm and you have a very positive outlook and if you can uh, minimize your own concerns and your own fears and allow them the space to interact with you that you may indeed see that they start to trust and they can move forward it's um, you know it's so it's so interesting that when you have uh, a group of people that are scared the person who is calm and sure of themselves that's the one we turn to right? So if you ever have a terrified partner, even if they look nonchalant, you know, this is the best move that you can make. Just very self-secure, continue to pursue. You may get a flip answer that's supposed to throw you off. I understand it's confusing, but you are going to have to, at this point, trust your gut. Because oftentimes in dating, what we're seeing from a partner and what we're hearing from a partner is exactly the opposite of what they are feeling. This is why at times when I needed real clarity when I was working with players, I didn't even listen to their words nor did I watch their actions. Whereas generally speaking actions tell you everything in this particular case. Until you can get to partnership, until you can get past the partner who is so terrified, you may have to rely on your intuition and on your gut feeling. 
just make a safe environment for them to proceed forward. But to your benefit, I would suggest you put a time frame on this. You know, nobody is allowed to come in and out of your life, stir you up and walk away. Nobody is allowed to reserve you emotionally and not move forward on it. I think a reasonable time frame, if you can see them at least once or twice a week, maybe even once a week, um, give it a month or two months. You need about four or five dates to really know if, if you can calm them down and get them to move forward. We should never put our life on hold for another person. Everybody is worth exploring that we're attracted to. But remember, if a person has that many problems right off the bat, that may be something you want to reconsider. This entire conversation was simply to let you know that if you're feeling incredible attraction and you really think they like you, but you're finding they're forcibly putting roadblocks in your way, they're going back and forth, this is their desperate need to protect themselves. Because in dating, everybody's scared. And all the weirdness in dating comes from being afraid we're going to be hurt, afraid of showing our feelings, afraid of being rejected. Now, you have good skills because you are busy educating yourself. But for the other people, the best thing I can say is give them a time frame for which you would be willing to invest the time to explore if they are worth it to you and maintain a calm disposition and a confident demeanor so that they can kind of calm down and see if that's possible. I hope this has helped you. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Thank you so much for all your video suggestions. I'm getting them, they're great. We have a bit of a backlog. Uh, my staff looks them over so that we can pick the ones that are the most applicable to everybody. And also thank you so much for all the consultations I've been receiving. It is so wonderful to hear your feedback and to know that you've been following for a while and that I can help you individually. That is, I mean, it's immensely rewarding for me to start a conversation with somebody that thinks that they're all messed up only to, within an hour, realize that they always had the answer and now we're just able to find it together. Thanks a lot. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net.